Hello and welcome. In this instructional video, we will learn how to set up a new hard drive on Windows 10. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. First, let's just look at a few hard drives themselves. Here we have two two and a half inch drives. Here on the left we have a traditional mechanical drive, or here on the right we have a solid state drive. We'll be looking at two ports on the drive. Here on the right we have our data cable, and here on the right we have our power. Again, same ports on the solid state drive. Here we have a traditional test desktop drive. This is considered a three and a half inch drive. To compare, this is the same solid state drive we were looking at earlier. As you can see, same ports as the two and a half inch drives. Here we have our data cable. As you can see, it's keyed, so it'll only go in one way. If it doesn't seem to go in just right on the first try, just step back and try it again. There should be a nice smooth tactile click when it goes in just right. Again, just like the data cable, the power is keyed, so it'll only go in one way. With a nice smooth tactile click. Alright, so you've added your new drive, but it's not showing up in your file explorer. What we'll need to do is go into Disk Management and set up the new drive. But before we do that, let me give a little disclaimer. I have two drives set up on this computer already, so as you can see, I have my local C drive and my local E drive. I have a Data Y disk as well. This is a separate partition that I have on my C drive. We'll not get into that in this video. What we will be doing is setting up a second drive, just like I have set up my E drive here. But to go into disk management, we will right click on the start button, and go right up here to disk management. And as you can see, we have three disks, just like what we have plugged into the desktop. We can see my C drive and my second E drive. But the third drive was not showing up in the file explorer. So what we'll need to do is right click anywhere here on the white space and click new simple volume and the wizard will pop up. Since we are setting up a new simple drive for a single disk, we will click next. And this is a 64 gig hard drive. So we'll want to set the maximum space for this drive, which is 6,101 megabytes. And we'll click Next. And here's where we will assign the letter for the disk. Since I've already used E for my second drive, we will set it to the next default, which is F. It's best to set it as the default window says, just so you don't run into problems later on down the road. And here we will set up the format. For the file system, by default, it's NTFS. We'll want to leave it at that, just so we don't have any problems later on down the road. And just to be clear that we have a nice clean hard drive, we'll do a quick format. And here we will review just to make sure everything is just like we had wanted, and we'll click Finish. Alright, so the new drive has been configured. Here you can see it's a healthy partition, and here's the drive itself. But just to test it, I have a file here with a few pictures. Let's make sure I can transfer it to the new drive. Alright, and look, there it is. It's set up on the new drive that you did all on your own. Alright, have a great day.